Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today I just did this very glamorous look. Um, I did a halo eye with some fluffy lashes and a bold er lip. <laughs> um, but if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. Be sure before you leave to like this video and subscribe to my channel. All right, and let me know in the comments what you want to see next. First, I'm going in with the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. This is in the shade Light Medium, and I'm just going to place that on my eyelids to act as my eyeshadow primer today. I'm going to blend that out with my Beauty Blender and then set it with some powder. Um, but this is going to create a nice, clean, smooth canvas, an even canvas, if you will for our eyeshadows to blend on and we're setting it with a translucent powder so that none of the shadows stick anywhere and start to look patchy. We want everything soft and blown out today. Um, for eyes I'm going in with the Jaclyn Hill palette and I'm using those top two shades um, as my transition shades. I'm going to put those in my crease and blend them up towards my brow to really um, get a soft transition for these other shadows that we're going to start placing on my eyes like these two colors here um i'm going to start those in the crease to deepen it just a bit and then i'm going to start placing those shades on the inner and outer corner of my eye this is going to create um, lots of depth depth and dimension by placing several different layers of brown um, it's going to create a three-dimensional look that looks very soft and blown out um, it's just going to help everything blend and look very seamless all right and then I'm going in with these like slightly darker brown shades um, and I'm using the same brush and the same technique I'm just placing those popping them in the outer corner and the inner corner depositing that pigment and that color and then I'm gonna buff them into the crease to create what that halo eye is you know where it's darker on the outer corner and the inner corner but it kind of is blended into the crease just a bit and I'm going in several times to the same colors just to build up the desired pigmentation all right and then going with some darker browns this time <laughs> I'm going to use a different brush. This is um, more of like a packing blender brush, if you will. It's like a MAC 217. Um, and I'm just going to place those darker browns on the inner and outer corner. Again, placing them in the same spot, you know. Um, but I'm going to start blending a little bit lower in my crease. Not blowing it out so high and so, um, so much towards the brow. Now I'm using the darkest brown in the palette and again I'm just going to deposit that on the outer and inner corners of my eye. I'm just trying to really build these colors up so that the lighter shades that we put in the center are really going to pop. Um, this is creating all that depth and dimension that we want with a halo eye. And now I'm just going in with the brush I used first. No extra color just to blend everything out and make it soft. Um, then I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and really just pack on this dark brown and black to deepen everything up. Alright, now in the center of my lid I'm going to go in with that Tarte Shape Tape Concealer again. I'm going to paint it on my lid with a flat concealer brush. And I'm going to place that color down and then look up and that concealer is going to hit the um, end of my lid, the beginning of my crease. And it's going to give me a guideline as to where the concealer needs to go um, so that I can place my shimmer shadows on top and they won't um, go into my crease and mess with all those beautiful mattes that we have blended. Um, this is just going to create a nice little guideline, like I said, for us um, to where we need to stop the shimmer shades. Um, the concealer also does not have to be perfect. It's just creating a sticky base for those shimmer shades to stick to. So that they don't crease and they don't move around um, and that they really pop because it is a um, a base you know 
you can see again on this eye, I placed that color down and then looked up so that it hit it where the um, end of my, or the beginning of my crease started and the end of my lid um, to give me that guideline again. It's like coloring, it helps you color within the lines, if that makes sense. All right, now I'm going to go in with the Dose of Colors um, Desi XKD collab, and I'm going to use that shade Cannoli, and I'm going to place that all on top of that concealer that we just put down. Um, these shadows do work better with your finger, but I decided to use a flat shader, you know, a flat packing brush. I um, mean, they worked fine, but uh, not as great as they could have. On top of that Cannoli shade, I'm going to go in with this the gold from the Jaclyn Hill palette just to really make it pop and add more um, shine and dimension. You know, we're all about that blending. And then here I'm going in with those brushes I had used to really buff and blend those gold shimmer shades into the brown mattes that we've already placed in the inner and outer corner. Just want everything to look soft and diffused. To really make that um, halo, the center of my eye pop, I'm going in with the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter Eyeshadow, and this is in Kitten Karma. And I'm going to place that on my uh, eyelid in the center and then use that um, packing brush to blend out the edges. And then on top of that, to really make it pop, we're going in with the Urban Decay Midnight Cowboy Glitter Liner um, to add some extra glitter. To prep my skin today, I'm using the MAC Prep and Pop Prime Fix Plus, and then going in with the Glam Glow Mega Glow Matte Moisturizer. Love this stuff. Um, for primer, I'm using two, and I'm using the Becca Backlight Priming Filter on the high points of my face um, to give my skin some glow from within. And then in the center of my face, where I get a little bit more oily and I have more pores, I'm using the Tarte clean slate primer. For foundation, I am using the NAR Sheer Glow, um, and it really is just that. It's a foundation with a sheer glow, um, and I'm going to buff that in with my Beauty Blender. I am in the shade Barcelona. I think it's medium four, um, and it's got the perfect olive undertone for me. I love this foundation, man. Took me a while to get on the bandwagon, but I really do like it. All right, once that's all blended in, I'm gonna go in with concealer, and first I'm going in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer, but this shade is just like a hair too dark for the brightness that I wanted, so I went in with the Maybelline Better Skin. Um, to lighten it up a bit and I did all of that in the on the high points of my face so under my eyes my forehead the bridge of my nose and my chin anywhere that I wanted a little bit of extra coverage and wanted to bring some light and then on my eye socket the inner part of my eye I'm using the Tarte Shape Tape for a little bit of extra coverage and um, it looks like a lot of concealer but once it's all blended out it looks beautiful My favorite way to blend out my concealer is with my damp beauty blender. Nothing blends out concealer like a damp beauty blender. All right, after that concealer is all blended out, I'm going to go in with the Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder, and I'm going to put that under my eyes with that damp sponge again, um, and just really press it into my skin. This is going to help it melt into the skin and look more natural instead of baking. Um, if your skin is more dry, then I would totally suggest this as opposed to baking, because it helps the longevity of your concealer but it doesn't add that dryness that baking can. 
Then I'm going to set the rest of my face with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Um, and this is just to help all my other powders blend later on. For bronzer today, I'm using three because I'm extra. And I'm going in with the It Cosmetics Sunshine in a Compact Bronzer first to really just bronze my skin and give me some, um, like, tan, you know. And then to contour, I'm using the Balm Bahama Mama Bronzer because it is a little bit more neutral in tone. Um, and it really does help the hollows of my cheek look a bit more hollow um, and then to add the uh, sun-kissed glow I'm using the Re makeup revolution vivid matte baked bronzer something and I'm just adding that where I put the it cosmetics bronzer to start with and then I'm using the Laura Mercier translucent powder again to carve out my cheekbones I'm starting at my ear, the center part of my ear, and then going to the corner of my mouth. Um, and this is just going to chisel out that contour. For blush, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Blush Kit. And I'm using those two peachier shades on the right. Um, these are super pigmented, so use a super light hand. My suggestion. Um, to finish out the eyes, I'm gonna use two brown and two brown shades. And I'm going to just buff those on the outer three-fourths of my eye, leaving that inner fourth, that inner quarter, blank for highlight. This is just the way I prefer to do my lower lash line. It makes my eyes pop more. For inner corner highlight, I'm using the Ofra Rodeo Drive Highlight because it is popping, man. It is like blinding. And I'm also going to use that um, under my eyebrow on the brow bone. That, that just ties the look together, man. That brow bone highlight. To highlight my face, I'm also going to use the Oprah Rodeo Drive. And I'm going to put a little bit of ColourPop Flexitarian on top just to make it pop. For liner, I'm just going to use a... Um, this is the L'Oreal Gel Liner. And I'm just going to create a thin line on top of my uh, lash is um, to help my lashes blend in and then for my waterline I'm using the um, it's like a bronze shade but it's the Marc Jacobs highliner um, and then I'm going over that with MAC Costa Riche and then to do my tight line I'm using the black Marc Jacobs liner and then for my lashes I'm using the L'Oreal Voluminous Lash Paradise Mascara this stuff is incredible y'all and then for lashes I'm using the House of Lashes in Natalia um, I use the House of Lashes Lash Glue as well, and I wait 45 seconds till it starts to clear um, and get super tacky, and then I pop those on with my lash tool in the center of my lid and then attach the outer and inner corner. For lips, I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics Kristen Lip Kit, and then the, lip, the look is complete. All right, my camera cut out. Of course, it died. But I just popped on my other lash and then put on the Kylie Cosmetics Kristen Lip Kit. It's on my lips right now and I really like it. This is the finished look. Guys, that is it for this video. Um, I hope you liked it. hope you enjoyed. Um, if you did, Go ahead and like the video, subscribe to my channel, um, and I guess I will catch y'all in the next one. Bye!